Depression is actually your body needing deep rest. Deep rest from the character you're trying to play. Hi everyone, I'm Crystal Escobar, certified life coach. I specialize in mindful time management. I also talk about the whole spectrum of mindset and managing your emotions. Today, I'm going to talk to you about depression. A few days ago, I came across a video of Jim Carrey. He's one of my favorites. He was talking about depression being, well, he first heard this concept from a man named Jeff Foster, and he's talking about how depression is actually your body needing deep rest, deep rest from the character you're trying to play. When I heard him say this, I was like, oh my gosh, it just really brought it all together for me when I was experiencing my own little bout of depression, which I often experience during that winter season of my menstrual cycle. If you're also trying to practice syncing with your cycle when it comes to planning and managing your time, this podcast episode is going to share with you some of my own personal experiences of what I learned through my most recent winter season. I wanted to briefly explain, give you an introduction of around what I mean by the way I understood the deep rest from the character that you're trying to play. It's not like we are being inauthentic necessarily, it's just that Culturally, I think we've learned that it's all about productivity and that's why in my time management course I really emphasize the power of mindset over being productive. Although I love being productive, but it's also being mindful of getting out of that whole belief that we need to be constantly productive even when we aren't feeling well, even when we're dealing with some internal things because sometimes what we do is we push it aside and over time it ends up building up inside of us and then it becomes a bigger problem. So what I'm hoping to portray is that we take time to really address these things that are causing us a little bit of emotional distress in the moment and not you know, setting it on the back burner and saying, I'll get to it one day. So one thing that I've really been gotten a lot better about is sometimes these things would happen, like even just yesterday, I had two things, they're little minor things that, you know, people say or do that triggers a little bit of something inside of me where I'm feeling anxious, shame, or anger. So yesterday when these two things happened, instead of what, doing what I normally do, which is, uh, oh, I'll write about that in my journal later and I'll work through my, my thoughts and, because I don't usually have time to work on those things in the moment, but I found a tool that I have been using that has been something that I do in the moment and that I can do in the moment without a piece of paper, without having to call my life coach or therapist and just doing it in the moment. And it has been something that has helped me so much. And I plan to teach a little bit more about that in some uh, upcoming videos, but for now, if you are dealing with anything, don't hesitate to schedule a free mini session with me and I can share a little bit about this tool that I use in the moment whenever these little triggers come up throughout the day, which they will. <laughs> about a week ago, I was experiencing a whole sequence of events that really sent me down a, a negative spiral. And that's something that we can't always control because of our hormones, because of external circumstances. And we're not always capable to, uh, in the moment, avoid going down that negative spiral and it's okay. Eventually you'll come out of it just like we do every single time. Sometimes you do need a little bit of help from somebody to lift you out of that darkness that you find yourself in. Although I believe we can coach ourselves and we can work through our own issues and problems and we don't always need somebody else, sometimes it is hard to see ourselves fully and having an outsider's perspective to show us the things that we can't necessarily see, that's the value of hiring a life coach or a therapist. So one of the things that I visualize, anytime these things come up, I found that Creating a picture in my mind has really turned these concepts that I'm learning because of course we're always learning from people. We hear words, we listen to podcasts, but we don't always integrate it into our lives. And I think it's because we need to take the time to really visualize something comparable so that it really sticks in your mind and then you can actually start integrating it into your life. I literally close my eyes and I imagine a door and the door says has a big sign on in it and it says, 
open this door if you'd like to see all the ways in which this is happening for your benefit. And even just imagining that door, imagining myself opening the door and imagining all the possibilities of how these things that I'm going through right now are happening for me. Life is not happening to you, it's happening for you. Something that I've heard, and I, I know that to be true, but the visual of the door actually allowed me to take that time to imagine how this is happening for me. And I've always put it aside because I thought, well, I don't have time to sit with my journal right now and write about this, but I'll get to it later. And then I'll, most of the time I would never, I would never really get to it. And by then it's too late and it's already gone down to my subconscious. And then it, it you know, it just kind of seems to fester and then builds and builds with more and more things that get stuffed down there. And then it turns into an outbreak. Like I had a full on rash outbreak a few months ago and, or, or even just like blowing up. <laughs> like you can't, you're just bottling it all up and you don't necessarily realize you're doing this all the time, but then it just explodes and you blow up at people and then you regret it. And then it just, you create more problems by doing it that way. Lighten up the word, the emotion depression and to help me see it as something that's not so bad and that we don't need to necessarily try to avoid it. Let's allow ourselves to rest and to do some introspection and also sit with that uncertainty and all of the confusion and not knowing and understanding what everything means and, <laughs> you know, that inner critic yelling at you and you're trying so hard not to believe it. It's like when you think about baking cookies and you put the cookies in the oven and let's say you decide to only bake them for like three minutes and you take them out because you're just so anxious to have the cookie. But you see that taking the cookies out too soon, they won't be ready. They'll fall apart. They'll be doughy and gooey and they just won't be a cookie. And that's how I look at depression and this winter season that we tend to go through as women that although we are anxious to see the lessons and to understand and to make sense of why we're feeling and thinking what we're what we are it's it's good for us to just sit and allow it to bake you know let those cookies bake and when you give it the necessary time it will come out as this perfect delicious cookie and also i I even like to imagine it like you're wading through a pond of uncertainty. The key word, wait. We must be willing to sit with the unsettled dirt in the pond. And as you hold still and you rest and you wait, soon the dirt settles. And then you can see everything that's in the pond. We feel relieved that there are no creepy flesh-eating fish swimming around your legs. Just cute little harmless goldfish glimmering in the sun. Isn't that the way it goes? Once you come out of that depression or that hibernation, that winter season, you just realize like, oh wow, I started panicking over a lot of things that weren't even there. I'm only playing a portion of the podcast episode, but if you want to hear the whole thing, then listen to it on iTunes, uh, Google Play, anywhere you listen to your podcasts and listen to the full episode by even going to wannabebalanced.com. 